Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Lab to Learn IT. In our last video, we learned how to create the VM for ESXi server, install the ESXi hypervisor, and do the configuration from the direct user console or the console. Uh, when I say direct user console, the direct user console uh, refers to this screen wherein you have an option to hit F2 to configure the uh, ESXi server settings. So uh, we use this console to do some initial configuration, but uh, now we will log into the web UI to set the time server on our ASXI servers. So let me go back to my uh, uh, admin workstation, the workstation one, and let's try to log into the P, uh, to the ASXI server ASXI-3.starkindustry.com. If you remember, we created the DNS hosted record for this ESXi servers in our previous videos. So if I type this URL and hit enter, I should be able to resolve uh, the name to an IP address and thus be able to open the web interface for the ESXi server. It should prompt us to log in. So yeah, we are able to hit the ESXi 3 page, uh, but you get this error message because right now, the connection that we are making is uh, not uh, not secure because the certificate does not have the uh, have the URL that we have given. We can take care of that in later sessions, but for the, for the time being, uh, to bypass this error, we can hit the advanced and then click on continue. Once we click on continue, we are given a pay this page where we can log in with our root account and provide the password that we gave at the time of installation. So let me give it the password. So I gave it the password. Uh, you can see that it is prompting us to join the uh, customer experience program. So I'm not interested in it right now. So let me uncheck this and click on OK. So to configure the NTP server setting or the time server setting, we need to click on manage. Once we click on manage, we can go to time and date. And here you can see that right now, NTP server setting is stopped and it's showing the current date and time. So uh, in order to configure it, we need to actually click on edit NTP settings. So let me click on edit NTP settings. Once I click on that, I'm presented with these two options. So let's select the second option. And then from the NTP service startup policy, uh, we want the, uh, this setting, uh, this service, NTP service to be started and stopped with the host. So I'm selecting the option start and stop with the host. And now I need to give the IP address of my domain controller. So let me give it 192.168.1.5, which is the IP address of my domain controller. And um, if you want to provide more than one, then you can separate them with the comma. So let me provide the IP address for the second. Uh, domain controller that we have not yet installed, but we plan to install it in future videos. So once I have given these IP addresses for the NTP server, I can click on save. Once I click on save, you can see the one IP address that we gave uh, first is now at the priority level one, and the second one is on the second number. Now, uh, we because the NTP service status is still stopped, even if we refresh it, we can we can see that it does not start. So we need to go to the services console. Once we go to the services console, we can check the NTP server setting NTPD and we see, see the service stopped. So we need to select the service and then click on start. Once we click on start, we have to wait for some time and see, yeah, we were able to start the service successfully. You can see the status now shows running. Uh, we now need to go back to the system tab and check. Here you can see that the NTP server is still showing a stop. So uh, though we have already started it, so we need to click on refresh and see if the status shows correctly. Yes. Once we click on refresh, the status is now showing running. So uh, now we have the NTP server uh, service running and now our ESXi server should be able to get the time settings from our domain controller. Um, you need to perform this, these steps on the other ESXi servers as well so that 
they are actually pointing to the same time server for the time synchronization settings well uh, let's stop this here uh, and I'll configure the other ESXi servers uh, with the time server setting once we have configured it we will then proceed with the installation of the vCenter server so uh, let's wait for the time to arrive and uh, if you think uh, that I'm performing I'm uh, providing some value uh, by these videos so please share and subscribe and like my videos and share it with your colleagues who might find it useful. Thank you for your time and you have a great day. Bye-bye.